you need to get exceptional experiences. Not just okay experiences, not just average experiences, not just uneventful and not just frictionless. It's the best experience bar none. But this is where we get into the biggest trouble because in order to get to exceptional experience, we need to deliver exceptional performance. And exceptional performance is an employee choice. Let me explain to you that in a simple way. When you board a plane, try to remember your last flight. When did you see the flight attendant more sincerely and authentically smiling at you? When you boarded or when you left? When? When you left, right? When you boarded, it looked like one of those uh, fake smiles, right? I have to do it. But when you left, oh, she was very sincere about your departure. Yeah, get out of here. I really don't want to see you. Because, you see, you can't pay someone to smile sincerely. You can't pay someone to care. You can't pay someone to demonstrate a connection and engagement. That is a personal choice. If that flight attendant feels good and she's proud of what she does, she'll smile sincerely and you'll feel amazing. But I want to give you an example. What does it mean to create memories? This is a real story that took place at a flower shop in Long Island, New York. And I want to tell you what happened, and we'll discuss that a little bit. Call comes in at 8 o'clock in the morning, and this is how the call comes in. Ma'am, I need you to ship a dozen roses right now to this address. Here's the address. Here's my credit card. Here's the expiration date. Please ship them immediately. From a technical standpoint, we got the full spec. What kind of flowers? Roses. How many? A dozen. I have address, I have credit card, I have expiration. What should the employee do? What color? Uh, well, what color? Let's settle on red. What should you do? Any other things? Get the phone numbers to, uh, fall, uh, to, uh, to phone back. But technically, she has all the information that she needs, and the customer is in a rush. Most people will say, just ship it. She pauses. She pauses, she turns to the customer, and she said, Sir, you sound very stressed today. What's wrong? Ma'am, none of your business to ship the roses right now. I need you to ship the roses. Sir, I promise to do that right away. Can you please tell me why you're so upset? Ma'am, I'm telling you, please just ship the roses. Sir, I promise to do that right away. Can you please tell me what's wrong? Well, you want to know what's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. I'm a very busy executive. I worked late last night, came home only to find out that I forgot my anniversary. My wife was upset. I slept on the couch. My back is hurting me and my wife is screening my calls. Are you happy now? The employee very calmly turned to the customer and she said, Sir, I'm really sorry to hear that. It happens often, unfortunately, you know, worked Work today becomes very, very demanding, and it's very, very difficult to catch up with all the emails and everything. I really feel bad about that. With your permission, here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to enclose a small note from us, the flower shop, that will explain to your spouse that it was actually us who made a mistake yesterday and shipped the flowers to the wrong address. And I'm going to throw in a small box of chocolate with that. Is that going to work for you? What do you think are the chances that at this point the customer will turn to... Uh, the employee and say, you know, I checked on the internet and I can get those flowers for about $5 less. So why won't you bring your supervisor and we're going to have to negotiate a little bit because I don't think your prices are competitive in the marketplace. What are the chances that's going to happen? Zero, right? You see, the guys on the left-hand side have a fixed mindset. They believe they already discovered the formula for success. And their operating question every day is, how do I repeat it? They are the repeaters. The guys on the other side have what we call flexible mindset. Their operating question in the morning is, how do I reinvent it? What's next versus what's past? The way we define excellence is what's holding us back from delivering it. Why? Because when you define excellence as Michael Phelps, who won 20 Olympic medals, guess what? You're not going to even start. 
Because what are your chances of winning 20 Olympic medals? Because if excellence is winning 20 Olympic medals, you're saying, I'm not going to start. Because I have no chance. So the way we define excellence is actually what's holding us back. Because we associate excellence with bigger-than-life characters with a huge achievement, and then we belittle what we can do. It's like listening to the guy who climbed the Everest, and he tells you the story, and you get all excited, and then he shows you the story from the top of the Everest, and then he turns to you and says, and now it's your chance, and your in your time to do it. And you said, no, who, me? No, 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 I'm just going to buy the T-shirt. Do you have a T-shirt? I'll take the T-shirt. Fifty ninety five. you got me. I'm not buying. If, if excellence is climbing the Everest, I'm not going to even get started. But then there was a few. The rare and the few who actually define excellence differently. And those guys said, excellence is my talent right now. Excellence, Michael Phelps, God bless him, took his talent to the maximum. Now it's my turn. I, it's my turn to take my talent and deliver something amazing with it. Because excellence is what I do. It's what everyone in my team does. It's everywhere where I perform. And there's only one judge. And the judge is the customer. This question will not be answered today, it will be answered tomorrow, and the following day, and then the following week, and then the following month. We live in a, a new world. The benchmark have risen, and the challenge that customers give us is quite simple. Exceptional is not optional. In the context of exceptional, it takes one to inspire one. The only question left. The question we are going to start answering tomorrow morning is quite simple. When it comes to exceptional,